Well, the big news of the week uh, came down, what, about 48 hours ago that uh, quarterback Dylan Rayola out of Arizona, 2024 class number one rated at his position has decided on Ohio State. Of course, we now have to wait what about 17 months to uh, hang on to see whether he actually signs. But uh, of course, the early indications are all positive. Yeah, so this is a this was a decision that wasn't made quickly, even though he has a 2024 and he has not yet played his junior season of high school football. Comes from a serious football family, the Rayolas. Everybody knows them there at Nebraska. But uh, a decision that is uh, not gone and taken lightly. And, and Ohio State doesn't treat their quarterbacks lightly anyway. And so if the two are coming together like this, it, it's pretty serious. And, you know, it's it's – forever until he signs and it's even longer until he plays uh, you look at the you know, think back to cj stroud didn't throw a pass until his redshirt freshman season so th think that the first time you may get to see dylan rayola throw the ball as a buckeye is 2025 and uh, to say that to speak that and it's like uh who, who is even going to be here in 2025 mark who, who knows but ohio state will have a quarterback room with at least a likely a redshirt freshman, Dylan Rayola, and I still think, obviously, he will play some, get his four games in in 2024 and go from there. But it's a huge thing to already have your quarterback in 2024, and they, they don't have anybody in 2023 yet, but that's a product, I think a byproduct of everything that's happened beforehand. The, the quarterback room is kind of built up, and now you, you're you not going to like slow play a Dylan Rayola who wants to come aboard. So you get him now. He's the first commit in 2024. Now you just let him recruit. And if anybody follows him on Twitter, he's been pretty active since he committed. And he's, you know, why not be the leader, the Pied Piper that brings everybody in? You see that one of the reasons he came to Ohio State is you look at what the quarterbacks have had to work with, with this offense and these receivers. He can now be responsible, partly responsible for bringing in guys that he wants to play with. And and there are a lot of them out there. And so uh, Ohio State right now, the offense looks to be, in, in good shape uh, here now in the present and also again in the future.